I have just completed a highly useful and productive discussion with Chancellor Cole on this, the sixth anniversary of his first visit to the White House as Chancellor of the Federal Republic of Germany. The many conversations we've had together demonstrate not only the close ties that exist between the Federal Republic of Germany and the United States, but the warm personal relationship that has developed between us. Chancellor Cole is a close friend of the United States. His views are greatly valued, and his commitment and personal efforts to strengthen German-American ties have made an enormous difference in the relationship between the United States and West Germany. Today, we reviewed a broad range of important international issues. We discussed how our two countries, working together and within the NATO alliance, could advance the cause of peace and freedom. And the Chancellor briefed me on his recent visit to Moscow. We agreed that important progress has been made in East-West relations, but that much still remains to be done in arms control, in ending regional conflicts, and with respect to human rights. We also noted that the Vienna Conference on Security and Cooperation in Europe, which is entering its final stage, required a balanced and substantive outcome. I reaffirmed the strong American commitment to Berlin and underscored our determination to pursue the Berlin Initiative I first outlined in June of 1987 when I spoke at the Berlin Wall. That divided city of Berlin remains a powerful symbol of a divided Europe and a litmus test of East-West relations. We reviewed the positive state of the NATO alliance. While seeking security and stability at lower levels of armaments, the United States and West Germany, together with our allies, will ensure that our conventional and nuclear forces are kept up to date. We also agree that for the foreseeable future, there is no viable alternative to NATO's defense strategy of deterrence based on flexible response and forward defense. The Chancellor voiced support for an international conference on chemical weapons, and we reaffirmed our common goal of negotiating a global ban on these terrible weapons. West Germany and the United States continue to seek ways to share early the risks, the burdens and responsibilities, as well as the benefits of our common defense. We reviewed the difficulties each country faces in doing more, but pledged we would each do our fair share. In this regard, I paid special tribute to the German people for the sacrifices they bear on the front line of freedom, which is also America's front line of defense, and reiterated my condolences for the victims of the tragedy at the Ramstern Air Show last August. We also revised trade and economic or reviewed, I should say, trade and economic issues. Both the Chancellor and I expressed satisfaction with the present state of the world economy. I congratulated the Chancellor on the decision of the European Community Member States to take major steps toward closer economic integration by the end of 1992 and expressed our concern that this be done in a manner that promotes fair trade internationally. We agreed that trade protectionism must be avoided and reiterated our support for an amicable resolution of the U.S. And, and European community trade issues and for real progress during the midterm review of the Uruguay round trade negotiations. I'll have something more to say on that point later in the week. Helmut, this marks my last meeting as president with you. Six years ago, we stood together as I announced the formation of a presidential commission to commemorate the tricentennial of the first German settlement in the United States. Six years to the day, I'm proud to announce a product of that commission, the dedication of a garden here in Washington as a symbol of the friendship between our two countries. In a few months, I'll be leaving the White House but the garden and all it represents will remain to be nurtured and sustained by the friendship between Germans and Americans and by the leadership that you have provided. I'm asking Charles Wick, the director of the U.S. Information Agency, to represent me today at the dedication of the German-American Friendship Garden. 
and Helmut, I hope you will convey to the German people my personal thanks for their prayers and support over the past eight years. And let me just add a final personal word to you for your friendship and counsel. Thank you, Helmut, and may God bless you and may God bless our two great nations. Herr Präsident, Exzellenzen, meine Damen und Herren, ich darf mich zunächst, Herr Präsident, sehr herzlich bedanken für die freundschaftlichen Worte, die Sie für mein Land gefunden haben. Mr. President, Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen, allow me to thank you, first of all, Mr. President, for the warm words of friendship which you have found for my country. Die Freundschaft zwischen den Vereinigten Staaten von Amerika und der Bundesrepublik Deutschland ist von existenzieller Bedeutung für unser Land. The friendship between the United States of America and the Federal Republic of Germany is of existential importance to our country. Das war so und das wird auch in Zukunft so bleiben. It has always been that way and it will remain so in future. Es war die Idee der Freiheit, die uns zusammengeführt hat. It was the idea of freedom which brought us together. Und wir wissen heute mehr denn je, wie wichtig es ist, unsere Freiheit gemeinsam zu verteidigen und, und zu today, halten. Today, to to Lieber Ron, Sie sagten es schon, ich bin heute zum letzten Mal hier im Weißen Haus mit Ihnen in Ihrer Amtszeit zusammengetroffen. Dear Ron, you already mentioned this. Uh, today I met with you for the last time during your term of office. Wir haben six Jahre hervorragend zusammengearbeitet. For six years we have worked together excellently. Unsere Begegnungen waren stets die Begegnungen, das Treffen von Freunden. Our meetings have always been meetings between friends. Und ich danke Ihnen sehr herzlich und sehr persönlich für diese Offenheit. And I would like to thank you from all my heart uh, for this personal contact and personal friendship which we have. Für den Austausch von Erfahrungen. For the exchange of experiences and views which we have. Freundschaftliche Miteinander auch des Älteren zu dem Jüngeren. And also for the friendship which the elder statesman gave to the younger statesman. In unserer Zeit gemeinsamer Regierungsverantwortung sind die Beziehungen zwischen Washington und Bonn noch enger geworden. During our respective terms of office, the relations between Bonn and Washington have become ever closer. Und ein Gütesiegel unserer Zusammenarbeit war die faire, offene Unterrichtung und Zusammenarbeit in wichtigen Entscheidungen dieser Jahre. And one of the hallmark of this cooperation has been the fair and open consultation about all matters interesting us over all these years. Als ein Beispiel nenne ich die Konsultation während der wichtigen INF-Handlungen. Let me cite as an example the alliance consultations parallel to the US-Soviet INF negotiations. Das war ein wichtiger Beitrag für den Erfolg. They were absolutely crucial to the success. Of the negotiations. Und mein Dank gilt Ihnen auch für das entschlossene und mutige Engagement zur Verbesserung der West-Ost-Beziehung. I should also, of course, like to thank you, Mr. President, for your bold and resolute commitment to improving East-West relations. Jede Verschlechterung der Beziehungen zwischen Ost und West schlägt sich bei uns wie im Seismograph einer Erdbebenwarte nieder. Bei uns in der Bundesrepublik und vor allem und nicht zuletzt in Berlin. Any kind of worsening of the situation between East and West will be felt like an earthquake um, in our country, uh, in the Federal Republic of Germany, and of course, first of all, in Berlin. Und ich darf Ihnen danken für die besondere Sympathie und das Interesse für die Probleme unseres geteilten Landes. I should like to thank you uh, very much also for the sympathy and the interest which you have always shown to us, to the interests of our countries, which is a divided country, of course. Ihre Rede unweit der Mauer vor dem Brandenburger Tor mitten in Berlin ist uns allen unvergessen. And your speech uh, very near to the Berlin Wall at the Brandenburg Gate is unforgettable to all of us. 
Und das war eben nicht nur eine Rede, sondern das war ein sehr persönliches Engagement für Berlin. Uh, this wasn't only just a speech, but it showed a very personal commitment to the cause of Berlin. Bei ihren beiden großen Besuchen in der Bundesrepublik Deutschland haben sie auch die menschlichen Beziehungen zwischen den USA und den Deutschen herausgestellt, insbesondere auch die Leistung der deutschen Einwanderer hier in den Vereinigten Staaten. And during your two visits to the Fed Republic of Germany, you have always also raised the issue of human contacts between the United States and the Fed Republic of Germany, and you also paid a particular tribute to the contributions which um, those citizens of the United States of German origin have made to this country. Und Sie haben auf die menschliche Brücke hingewiesen, zwischen, die diese Menschen bilden zwischen unseren beiden Ländern. And you pointed out that um, these people uh, sort of had built a human bridge between our two countries. 1987 und auch in diesem Jahr haben sie den 6. Oktober zum Tag der Deutsch-Amerikaner proklamiert. In 1987 and this year too, uh, you declared 6. Of October German-American Day. Und heute, über uns sprachen davon, wird ja hier in der Nähe der deutsch-amerikanische Freundschaftsgarten eröffnet. And today, dear Ron, as you also pointed out, the German-American Friendship Garden is being opened not far from here in Washington. Und wenn Charles Wick und Botschafter Rufus dort in unserem Namen die Eröffnung vornehmen, ist das ein Akt und ein Zeichen der Freundschaft und der Solidarität, das lange in die Zukunft zeigen wird. And if Charles Wick and Ambassador Rufus go there on our behalf, representing us to inaugurate and open up this friendship garden. I think this is a show of friendship and of solidarity, uh, which will have validity for the future too. Und ich danke allen, denen es möglich war zu helfen, dass dieses Werk der Gemeinsamkeit mitten in Washington möglich war. And I should like to thank all of those who were involved in making this um, sign of our friendship and solidarity possible here in the city of Washington. Mit einem Wort, Herr Präsident, lieber Ron, dies waren gute Jahre. Um, I think we can um, say, uh, Mr. President, dear Ron, uh, we can put it very briefly and say these have been good years. Es sind Wege geebnet worden, die auch sicher Ihr Nachfolger im Amt weiter beschreiten wird. I think that uh, both of us have paved the way uh, for a development which will be pursued by your successor in office. Und ich nenne vor allem ein noch wichtiges Beispiel zum Schluss. And I should um, at the end of my remarks um, mention one important example. Unsere Vereinbarung, unser gemeinsames Bemühen, möglichst oh. viele junge Leute, Schüler und Studenten, von hier in die Bundesrepublik, von der Bundesrepublik hier in die USA zu bringen. I should like to mention the agreement and the commitment which we have made to exchange young people, um, students, uh, but also other young people uh, from, who travel from your country to our country and from our country to your country. Das heißt, viele junge Bäume zu pflanzen, damit ein großer Wald, der vieles behütet, wachsen kann. That is to say, we try to plant young trees so that a strong forest may grow, which, uh, which serves as a shade for all of us. Lieber Ron, herzlichen Dank für alles. Ron, once again, from all my heart, thank you Und for Gottes all Segen you did. Für Ihren weiteren Weg. And God bless you in all you do.
done something important. Well, it does represent a change from their previous attitude. It's to carry out. Positive change, sir.